If you don't jig me, then nigga, you can sue me Cause the shit that I'll be saying ain't worse than no western movie Over here, stranger Got some shit we need to talk about You see that? Every time I drop some shit, bro People decide What the fuck am I doing here? So, it's to be expected Nature of the biz, right? What can you do? I'm just going to fix my shit. So I got this. I got this just a couple hours ago. And if this is your comment, if you can see this, if this is your comment, it says likely spam. When I click it, it shows there's nothing there. So if I'm not getting back to you, it's not personal. It just, YouTube refuses to show me what the fuck is going on. But it says, you know, I love your reaction. Please can you react to Junkhead. It's about his struggles with heroin addiction. It's deeper to me. So sad how it all ended. And I don't do reactions anymore. But I don't know why the screen is doing that also. Whenever I have it up. It blacks out now for some reason. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. But either way, I figured why not go over this, right? Now I'm not going to have the music playing. I'm just going to listen to it. And I'll give you my thoughts on it specifically because there's some background in this shit. I know some people who have had some very serious issues with heroin and other drugs and in light of the system that I'm stuck in with medication and all that it's a whole separate deal but don't get your hopes up don't get excited I'm just gonna let you know right now this is not your average channel unlike everybody else I'm not gonna say no names we all know who the fuck I'm talking about I actually saying what I think, how I feel, and I leave it at that. Now, I happen to like Wood off of this album. Phrasing. God damn it. Well, <laughs> it's a good song, you know. But I've never heard this one, so I'm kind of curious. I wasn't even going to, honestly, wanted to write back, like, dude, I don't want to do it because I don't want people to think I'm going to be doing this shit again. But because of the nature of the fucking song, and I am in the middle of editing a podcast as we speak right now anyway, so, you know, I can take fucking five minutes of my life and just listen to a song real quick. Like, it's not going to be the end of the fucking world. All right, here we go. Very Nirvana-like. That's probably offensive to a lot of you. But I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in an iconic way. Okay, hit me with it. Well, this is no good. This is no good. We need, we need lyrics. Did I really? Don't tell me nobody. Okay, good. Do we have it? Okay. All right, hold on. I gotta pick a different one. I'm not. I'm not into all that. Just give me the fucking words, bro. That's all I ask you to do. Why you gotta get all fancy? All right, come on with it.
Okay, hold on, hold on. You're pausing already? Yeah, I'm pausing already. So if you don't like it, peace the fuck out. To all you haters who don't pause the video, how come you're not playing the music? Make your own channel, make your own content, dude, okay? This is important, to me at least. Right off the bat, somebody had commented a couple of days ago. They said apparently how dude got into all this shit was a girlfriend at the time or an ex-girlfriend of his when they couldn't find blow. Allegedly, this is all a rumor, I don't know if it's true or not, grabbed some hair on and was like, dude, try this shit. So I'm assuming that's what it means by... You know, a new friend turned me on to an old favorite, meaning the heroin was a big fucking deal. Still is a big fucking deal, unfortunately. Ooh. Whoa! Shit! Hold on now. Hold on now, I gotta say, I gotta say, man, I don't think it's very often that drug worlds collide, but I don't think I've ever met a person who sold weed that wasn't smoking the shit they were selling. Never, not once, never. Always. They be rolling up, lighting some shit, like you take a couple puffs of this shit, how much you want. So you're seeing right there, I didn't know that they did that shit in other drug worlds. I thought that, you know, with shit like this, you would just get it, and then that would be it. But I understand what he's saying, I see how you're feeling on it, so I know what I should be expecting. The only problem with that is, they could easily be high on some other shit and be giving you soap for all you know. But I'm with it so far. I'm I can understand. Well what you got That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, that was like, there's gonna be a lot of pause and it's gonna be longer than a five minute video. I apologize. What have you got? I don't go broke and I do a lot. In other words, bro, I got money to fucking spend, dude. So what do you have to show me? Where's the rabbit hole? I'm ready to fucking go. That's what essentially this is what this cat is saying right now. Which, I mean, I feel, I feel bad in a way because that sucks that you are in a state of mind where you're going, I need to get wrecked, bro. So whatever it is, pass it to me and we'll try it out and we'll do it. You know, that's, that fucking sucks, dude. You would hope in a perfect world if you make it and you got money, you could find a way to get out of that shit. Maybe smoke a joint once in a while and don't hurt yourself. But we don't live in a perfect world. We live in an ugly, fucking disgusting world. Well... Oh. It seems so sick to the hypocrite Norm running their boring drills. Well, I guess he just called me out, didn't he? <laughs> Stoners, junkies, and freaks, baby. Yup. Are you though? Are you though? Honestly, I know. Ugh, fuck. See, this is this is why. Like, you can't just do. 
You can't just listen to some shit that this man says. It's it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. Are you happy? I am. Like, okay, I get it. In some capacity, you're happy because you're getting away from what it is that you're running from. But are you really happy? Really? But I guess it's in, in the moment, it doesn't matter, right? Reflection comes later on. If you're lucky enough to get there, a lot of people don't have that fortune. Okay, money, status, nothing to me. Well, the ironic part is money and status mean nothing to me. Yeah, but you got money, dude. And I'm not even trying to shit on the dude. It's easy to say. I'm a, I'm gonna date myself and quote Jermaine Dupree here when I say money ain't a thing. It's easy to say that when you got money. When you're broke and you're trying to get by, money is everything. When money is the difference between going hungry and having something to eat, it means a fucking lot. Status, on the other hand, fuck status. Who gives a shit? I'm going to quote Tupac, and I'm going to say, all I want is money, fuck the fame, I'm a simple man. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're listening to an Alice in Chains song. Why the fuck are you quoting rappers from the 90s? You must be new around here. This is definitely This is definitely a single dude if I ever heard one for sure Like you know they were in the studio listening to this shit while they were making it, and whoever was producing it was like, bro, this is just, it's hot in here, man. I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Dude. Seems like he's putting his soul into this shit. And I apologize for not having the music on here, dude. I just don't want to go through the whole ordeal of recording it and then being copyright blocked. You know what I mean? So just doing it easier. And besides, this reactions are not, I should have opened up with reactions are not my main deal. If you enjoyed any of the reaction videos or any other videos that I have done on this channel, Check out the podcast, Laughing at Birds. It's on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. I have to cut an intro and put it together. Hmm. I hear what you're saying. You can't understand. You can read all the books you want until you, as cliche as it is, until you walk through, until you walk a mile in somebody's shoes and experience what they experience, you can never know. Like, I can can show you some shit, but you'll never see it through my eyes and understand it the way I understand it or feel it the way that I feel it. Which has been a big issue with, you know, reactions as a whole anyways. People get upset. They just don't get it. Look, we're allowed to be different. We're supposed to be different. You should 
enjoy that instead of hate on it. It's a whole separate issue. But I understand what you're saying, dude. If I had the dough, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. If I had the dough, I'd have my fucking... I'd have trees all day over what I'm with now for the pain and shit, dude. And a lot of people can't even compute that. But trust me, man. It's... Ugh. Banger of a song, dude. Holy shit, 16 minutes on this? Damn. That was a hell of a song. Look, I didn't mean for it to be almost 20 minutes on one song, but like I said... These are not guys that you could just fucking, you just listen to. Some of their shit, and I know a lot of y'all are die hard. I get it. I'm the same way with a lot of other artists, but, you know, some songs that these guys put out, bro, you just, you don't just, you don't take it in like a regular song. You, you, you have to sit and hang out with it for a moment. I didn't mean for it to get this long. My apologies. I'm not even cutting it short though. Because. Everything I said. Needed to be said. Now I've been said all of that. I know I probably lost. Most of you already. Which is why I should have put this. In the beginning. But like I said earlier. I do a podcast now. I don't fuck with reactions anymore. Because the podcast allows me to be more creative. And I can have an open dialogue where I'm talking about whatever for as long as I want. So if if anything that I've ever done on this channel you have enjoyed, do me the favor and go check out the podcast. iTunes, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, a bunch of other platforms. Rate it. Most importantly, like it and leave a comment. Only because the more people that do that, the more visible that makes the podcast, the bigger the audience will grow. That could increase the odds of getting a guest on or just in general broadening the audience that you know this podcast gets to. But I, I, appreciate, I appreciate this suggestion. While I'm out of the reaction deal... Because it's a toxic place to be, dude. 100%. That's exactly what it is. It's a toxic place to be, and you're confined into one spot. But I wanted to make an exception just because I know you don't have to go out of your way to, for one, even leave a comment, two, say some nice shit, you know? So and plus I know when these when somebody says you gotta check this shit out nine times out of ten these guys don't fuck around. But you know, it is what it is. I've changed up the formula. Look, man, we gotta keep it we gotta keep it fresh and new. There's literally over forty episodes of the podcast that you can listen to right now. The beginning and what it is now is completely different. However, check it out. I would appreciate it, even if you hate it, whatever. To everybody that's new or will be new in the future, what's up? I'm not trying to lure you in doing doing shit like this. But at the same time, it's, it's not that difficult for me to take a fucking moment out of my day when I'm in a decent mood. And do something nice for somebody. And hopefully that karma will 
come back around and you in return do something nice for somebody else. So, you know, Alice in Chains, real deal of shit. Heroin is a motherfucker, dude. If you haven't, don't, not like anybody's going to listen to me. But dude, just do regular shit. Smoke a little bit of weed. And I'm not, I shouldn't even say that. I'm not advocating drug use on this channel at all. But if you were in the event to do some shit like that, don't go into the trenches, man. It gets dark in there and it's real easy to lose your way and not be able to get back home. Sometimes by the time you figure out that you're lost, it's already too late and there's no coming back so i don't want to see that happen to anybody but there's a podcast for that where we can get into a whole conversation about this shit you know specifically an episode that'll be coming soon to display case i talk a little bit about some of the shit that i got going on in my life so you know look out for that I don't know exactly when it's going to be coming out, but it'll be coming soon. I appreciate the suggestion. Sorry, video is so long. Although on a content platform, you would think people would be happy that the video wouldn't be super short. But apparently, people got more important shit to do. So then why even waste your time fucking around on YouTube? You know what I mean? Stupid. But whatever, I'll do it anyway. I'm going to go upload this right now so you can have it. So you don't have to sit around and wait for me to do it. So that's that. I don't, I don't know how to end these things. Check out the podcast, okay? I'm going back to doing what I should be doing. And that's editing the episode in the future that will come out probably like five weeks from now. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Check it out, man. Do me the favor.